Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In our last video, we wrapped up collecting 1,266 coins. That is almost all of the coins that are either on the ground or buried underground, with the exception of 75 more coins that we have left to find buried in hidden treasures. We could have gotten them before when we were collecting all the other coins. In fact, it would have been more efficient to just get them. I mentioned that where they were in each case. But uh, all three of these hidden chests have to do with treasure maps, so I just figured I would group together the three treasure maps for the purposes of this video. So, um, going back to this dog that we talked to before, he's going to meet us up at Outlook Point, and I'm just going to fast forward our trip up there and then skip ahead his trip up there. And then I'm going to load a different save file just to remind you of how we got the treasure map already here by talking to this dog. So we've seen this text before. And again, at the end of this text, we get the treasure map, which is the one that we're going to read right now and go find. There are actually four different treasure maps, and one of them has to do with a golden feather. So we got that uh, golden feather treasure map on Donald Duck's boat, and then that treasure map pointed us to a golden feather buried uh, at the tip of the lighthouse's shadow. So we've already gotten that map and the treasure. Now we just got our second map, and now we're going to read it and go find the buried treasure. It says, I hid my treasure from the world, but never far from reach. It rests between the mossy stones that lie upon Sid Beach. Well, let's go find those two mossy stones. Sid Beach is basically straight south from where we are. We just need to get to the beach with the rock wall climbing thing. And then we're just looking for two mossy stones. You can see them on the screen right now. It's these two stones I'm standing between. Let's read the ma uh, treasure map one more time. And then we will dig right here and get another bunch of coins. Note that each treasure chest is worth 25 coins. I hid my treasure from the world, but never far from reach. It rests between the mossy stones that lie upon Sid Beach. So we dig right here and we get 25 more coins added to our pile. 1291. Awesome. Okay, uh, now we have to go find a treasure map that we have not gotten earlier in this playthrough. A brand new one for us. So I'm going to fast forward some of this trip here. But basically just heading to the west coast and then north until we get to the waterfall. Playing this in double speed. And then from the waterfall, we just basically have to climb up the north face here. And it's kind of high up, so we have to gather our stamina back a few times. So there's the old stone building to our right, to the east. And then a brand new treasure map for us. So let's go ahead and read the instructions for this one, and then we will head directly to where the instructions point us. So this one is called the King's Throne. It says, South of the Stone Tower, across the river bridge, a lonely seat sits crumbling upon the royal ridge. So this one is really close. In fact, we're going to walk there, basically just following this uh, trail right here. And hop down a couple of levels and then right around this s bend we just go into the grass and right there is the rock that looks like a throne it looks like a seat with the seat back uh, to the north so we'll read the map one more time and then we'll dig right here note that you don't have to read the map in order to access the treasure you don't even have to collect the map south of the stone tower across the river bridge a lonely seat sits crumbling upon the royal ridge so we'll grab this chest again they're each worth 25 coins Beautiful, 13, 16. And then let's go grab the last one. So fast forwarding here, I think this is quadruple speed. So we're just making our way over to the Orange Islands. I'll walk across all the bridges just to make it easy to follow, but it's quicker if you fly the direct path to the place we're trying to get, which is this island right here. And there is a star digging spot right here, an Animal Crossing star digging spot, which contains the fourth and final treasure map. Okay, so let's uh, read this one. This one's called A Stormy View. It says, Upon a stormy clifftop, one should pause to see the view. Peer through an earthly window. Gold is hidden in the blue. Okay, so it turns out that the treasure chest is just on the same island that we were on, just directly east of where, no, sorry, directly west of where we were. But uh, just for the purposes of this video and completion, I will show you the earthly view. There it is. It's that circular rock formation. We look through there to the beach on the other side of the blue, the water, and we're just going to dig right there at the, at the water's edge. So heading back to the north, right back where we came from. I don't know why I went up here on the top level. 
I think I just got distracted or something. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to dig right at the right at the water's edge right here. We'll read the map one last time. So again, a stormy view. Upon a stormy cliff top, one should pause to see the view. Peer through an earthy window. Gold is hidden in the blue. I think I misread that before. I think I said earthly. It's an earthy window, and it should be worth another 25 coins. So there you go, gang. 1,341 coins. That is the grand total of all the coins that are either on the ground or in the ground. And that's every last one of them. There are more places to collect coins, and we'll start one of those coin collecting routines, mini games, in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.